ba 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 da ba chicken tails. Hi everyone, and welcome to Chicken Tales. I am so glad that you've joined us today. My name is Sarah, and this is episode three. Today we have stories from Wilson and Penny, and of course, our joke of the day and a silly activity. Our first story is by Wilson, and it's entitled The Mermaid and the Wolf. Once upon a time, there was a wolf trying to look for a pig to eat, but then he saw a big, mean mermaid. And then the wolf ran, but the mermaid was faster than the wolf. And then the mermaid ate the wolf. Then the wolf, well, it died. But then it was alive. Then he was mean to that mermaid, and the mermaid ran super fast. And then the wolf chased the mermaid, and then he was, like, really tired. And so he went into his house for a nap. The wolf's house was covered in mulch, but it had a big poking stick. Now there was also a big treat, as well as a big bag of mermaids, who were the mermaid's friends. And then the wolf was dead again. The end. Whoa, thank you, Wilson. Oh man, what an exciting story. I did not know that mermaids ate wolves. Did you all know that? I bet that that was the last time that the wolf was mean to a mermaid. And in this story, the mermaid can run. I only thought they could swim. But this mermaid could run. Faster than a wolf, even. And wolves are fast. Wilson, I think you already know this, but I researched how fast a wolf can run. They can reach speeds of 31 to 37 miles per hour. That's really fast for an animal. That's car fast, you guys. And a mermaid is faster? Amazing. And now it's time for joke of the day. How do you make a squid laugh? Tentacles. The second story we have today is by Penny, and it's called the squirrel family. Once upon a time, there were three squirrel sisters. The eldest one was Daisy, the middle one was Rose, and the youngest one was named Daffodil. They lived on a mountain and needed to collect nuts for the winter. So the oldest one went north, the middle one went east, and the littlest one went south. They went up and down trees and each found nuts from their side of the mountain. At the top of the mountain, a cherry tree was in full bloom. Daisy went up it to collect blossoms, and there were her other sisters. They were all back together and picked blossoms to eat, too. They put the acorns they had collected in and around the petals to save for winter. The middle sister sewed blossoms together to make scarves and warm suits and shoes for each of her sisters to stay warm in the winter. The littlest one gathered more nuts for a big feast that night that the oldest one cooked. They ate and ate and ate. After their big feast, they went to sleep in their squirrel nest that was shaped like an acorn. Everything was shaped like an acorn. The tables, the chairs, even their bed was shaped like an acorn with soft green moss on the bottom. The middle sister had stitched pink and yellow and blue and every color of flower petals together to make an intricate pattern on a blanket for the sisters. They settled down to sleep and had happy squirrel dreams. The end. Penny, what an incredible story. I could really see the family in my mind. And now my life goal is to live in an acorn house with an acorn bed that has soft green moss. Have you guys ever laid down on moss? It is so soft. Sometimes it's kind of wet, so you might need to bring a towel. But it's really, really soft. And it smells good, too. I also loved how the sisters worked together to get things done. That's really how it works, isn't it? We all work together and accomplish so much. Even a big squirrel feast and winter clothes made out of blossoms. Next up, the silly activity of the day. The silly activity of the day is for you to invent a new kind of animal. Maybe a rabbit with horns or a dinosaur with a fluffy doggy tail, or a cat with a giraffe neck. 
Draw a picture of your new animal, cut it out, and attach a ribbon to it for a leash. Now take it on a walk throughout your house. Set a place for it at the dinner table and take care of it all day long. Get it some food and some water. Find out what it needs to be cozy and comfortable. Play with it. What kind of games does your animal like to play? Don't forget to tell your family all about your animal. What do you think it likes to eat? What kind of grooming does it need? Don't forget to give it its most favorite food and cuddle up with it at night. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for listening to Chicken Tales. Remember to ask any friendly looking chickens if they have a story to tell you. You may be surprised by what you hear. But if they don't have a story for you, you can write your own and send it to us at chickentailspod at gmail.com. Bye-bye. Ba-ba-ba-da-ba, chicken tails!